We'll get started in a child's pose. Hips to the heels, knees spread wide, maybe the width of the mat. Crawl the hands out and just rest your forehead gently onto the mat. Taking some time to press pause and look within. Taking some time to connect to the breath. And just using this time to set the foundation for your practice, so just becoming present, becoming aware of the breath, becoming aware of the body. We spend so much time in our heads, lost in our thoughts. So your mantra today might be out of the head and into the body. And right now, just feeling into the hands and the forehead, the tops of the feet and the shins, becoming aware of where you make contact with the earth, feeling into the physical body and then feeling into the breath, becoming aware of every in-breath, feel it filling, filling you up and energizing you and then opening the mouth and exhaling all that energy back out. One more like that, big inhale through the nose and out the mouth, let it go. Now the theme for today's class is fire. So creating some of our own internal heat through movement, working on heating the body from the inside out. And fire also represents self-discipline. So working on breaking down old habits and just starting this year anew. And just knowing that you can find child's pose at any time throughout practice. This pose is always here for you. So from here, go ahead and push yourself into a tabletop all fours position. Shoulders stacked above the wrists, the hips are above the knees. Go ahead and straighten your right leg, toes down towards the back of the mat. Extend your left arm out in front of you as if you're shaking someone's hand. And then on an inhale, see if you can lift that right leg up parallel to the mat, coming into sunbird spinal balance. The right foot is flexed. Go ahead and bring that gaze a few inches in front of the bottom right hand so that the neck is long and in line with the spine. Lengthen the spine. The sit bones reach back as the crown of the head reaches forward. One more inhale, lift everything up. And exhale, releasing hand and knee back down to the mat. And we'll go for the other side. Shooting the left foot to the back of the mat this time, the right arm extends long out in front of you. On an inhale, seeing if you can lift that back leg up parallel to the mat. Coming into a spinal balance, the neck is long, the belly is engaged. Stretching forward with the right hand and stretching backward with the flexed foot. Arm and leg stretching out in opposite directions. We'll take one last inhale, stretch it out, lift it up. And exhale, release it back down to the mat. From here, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and press back, downward facing dog. Your first down dog of the practice, feel free to pedal out the feet here, shifting the weight from side to side, taking your dog on a little walk. And then finding stillness. Press into all four corners of the hands, the shoulders roll down and in, the tailbone arcs up towards the sky. We'll take one last inhale, stretch everything back. And on the exhale, slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands, coming into a forward fold at the top of the mat. The head is heavy, grabbing onto opposite elbows, coming into ragdoll. The shoulders and neck are relaxed, shaking the head yes and nodding it no. Maybe shifting the torso from side to side creating some space, some movement there within the body. Bring the hands back down to the mat. On an inhale, lift through the chest, the shoulders roll down the back, nice flat back, elongating out through the crown of the head. And then on the exhale, surrendering to gravity, forward fold over the legs. We'll do two more like that. So inhale, halfway lift, heart shines forward. Exhale, release. Inhale, shoulders roll down the spine, flat back. And forward fold on the exhale. Last one, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. 
Next inhale, arm circle, root to rise, maybe looking up if the neck allows. And exhale, hands to prayer in front of the heart. Closing down the eyes, coming back into the body, out of the mind and into the body. Roll the shoulders down the back, nice long neck. The belly is in, the glutes are engaged. There's a slight tuck of the pelvis. As you feel your feet rooting down into the mat beneath you. Next inhale, arm circle. And exhale, folding forward over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back through plank, upper push-up position, and slowly lowering, same out breath. Inhale, chest lift, shoulders roll down the back. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. Taking a moment in your down dog, go ahead and spread the fingers wide, making sure the space there between the thumb and the first finger, that L shape there, is pressing down into the mat. Oftentimes we get light there, compromising the wrist. From here, on an inhale, shift forward to a plank, upper push-up position. Shoulders stacked above the wrists, you're energizing out through the heels and out through the crown of the head. We'll take an inhale here. And then on the exhale, drop the knees, coming into tabletop, all fours position. And we'll go for a couple rounds of cat-cow. So on an inhale, belly drops, chin, chest, and tailbone lift. And exhale, pressing through the hands, belly to spine, curl and round, looking up at your navel. Inhale, belly drops, looking up. Exhale, curl and round. Last one, inhale, belly drops. Exhale, bring it in. Coming back through a neutral spine, from here on an exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and press it back, downward facing. Taking a moment here in Down Dog before we take what we just did and turn it into a little warm-up series, twice through. Knowing you can skip vinyasas, drop your knees, or modify in any way throughout class. So from here, on an inhale, press everything back, hips to the sky. And exhale, walk or hop light, top edge of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arm circle, root to rise. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the chest. Inhale, arm circle. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lift it halfway. And exhale, stepping back through plank, shifting forward onto the toes, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbow stay in. Inhale, Cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, downward facing. Inhale, forward to a plank. Exhale, drop the knees, tabletop. Inhale, belly drops, looking up for your cow. Exhale, curling around the spine, in for your cat. Neutral spine on the inhale. Press it back, downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, hips to the sky, press everything back. Exhale, walk or hop light, top edge of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, surrendering to gravity, forward fold. Inhale, arm circle, slow as you rise. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of the chest. Inhale, arm circle. Exhale, falling forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, drop the knees. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, curl and round. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, drop the head, downward facing. Big inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, let it go. Taking a moment here in your downward facing dog to just feel into the echo of what you just did. Feeling the body slowly start to warm up. 
curling the tailbone up towards the sky, creating space within the spine. The shoulders roll down and in, creating space within the neck. And from here, we'll add on. So on an inhale, press everything back. And exhale, travel light, top edge of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend through the knees and squat low. Inhale, rise to your version of chair, descending down through the thighs, engaging the glutes. The weight is in the heels, so you're light in the toes. The shoulders roll down away from the ears and you're gazing out towards the horizon, so you're not shooting your head back or dropping it forward. We'll take one last inhale, arms reach, and exhale, forward fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, lowering down with control. Inhale, baby cobra, up dog, you choose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now from here, go ahead and lift your right leg up off the mat on an inhale, three-legged dog. And on the exhale, step it forward between the hands, runner's lunge. Squeeze the inner thighs and rise to crescent lunge on an inhale, pausing here to check your alignment. The belly is in, the shoulders roll down the back, descending down into the thigh, right knee right above the ankle. Inhale, straighten the front leg. And on an exhale, bend the knees, arms spread out wide like a W. Four more like that. Inhale up, straighten the leg, arms at the ears. Exhale, lower down, arms out. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale up, exhale lower. Keeping the knee bent, bring the arms up, back to crescent, and on the exhale, back foot flat, opening up, finding warrior two. Shoulders rolled down the back, arms stretching out in opposite directions. The belly is engaged, pressing the outer back foot into the mat. Come up onto the front toes and we'll pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Heel down to the mat, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior, inhale. And windmill the arms, framing the front foot, stepping back, weight forward on the toes and lowering with control. Inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, let it go. And we'll go for the other side. So on an inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it between the hands. Hug the inner thighs in, rise to crescent on the inhale. Holding here and just checking that alignment. Feeling the ground beneath the feet. Connecting back to the breath. The shoulders roll down away from the ears. The belly is in. Straighten through that front leg on an inhale. And exhale, lunge, arms spread wide like a W. Four more like that. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale lunge. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale rise, exhale lunge. Arms up, crescent lunge, inhale. And opening up, finding warrior two, exhale. The shoulders are down, the arms reach out in opposite directions, gazing just over the front fingertips. The inner thighs squeeze in. The front heel is in line with the arch of the back foot. Go ahead and come up onto the front toes and let's pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Heel to the mat, inhale, flip that front palm, reverse the warrior. And exhale, arms move, stepping back and lowering down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, cobra, maybe up dog, back bend so sweet. And exhale, press it back, downward facing. Big inhale through the nose. And out the mouth. Just let it go. So we're going to take what you just did and we're going to turn it into a little dynamic flow. Just moving with our breath. Knowing you can skip or modify at any time. But also being aware that sometimes love looks like discipline. We know that within all of our minds this break governor exists. And what it does is it tells the mind that it's time to quit well before the body actually needs to. So just being aware of this break governor, pushing through, but remembering that you and you alone are your greatest teacher. 
So listening to your body and just knowing the difference between pain and discomfort. So with this in mind, let's flow. Inhale, everything presses back, hips to the sky. Exhale, travel light, top edge of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders roll back. Exhale, forward fold, squat low. Inhale, rise to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, chatter out, good dandasana, lowering down. Inhale, cobra, maybe up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. Rise to crescent on the inhale. Arms cactus like a W, exhale. Straighten the right leg, arms up, inhale. Lunge and cactus, exhale, four more. Inhale up, exhale, lunge. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, exhale, lower. Arms rise, crescent lunge, inhale. Opening up, finding warrior two on the exhale. Coming up onto the front toes and let's pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Heel to the mat, inhale, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior, and exhale, vinyasa, slowly lowering with control. Inhale, chest lifts, baby cobra, or maybe up dog, and exhale, press it back, downward facing. Inhale, left leg lifts, exhale, step it through, top of the mat. Rise to crescent, inhale, arm spread wide, exhale. Inhale, left leg straightens, arms up. Exhale, lunge, arms cactus. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale for four, exhale lunge. Last one, inhale, exhale lower. Arms up, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, opening up, back foot flat, warrior two. Coming up onto the front toes and let's pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Heel to the mat, flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. And exhale, windmill the arm, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, your back bend variation, taking care of the spine. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, just let it go. Taking a moment here in Downward Facing Dog as we set up to do that series one more time. Using your breath as a stabilizer to bring you back into the present moment and back into the body. We're just taking it one breath at a time. So let's do it. Inhale, hips to the sky, press everything back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, squat low. Inhale, rise to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. Rise to crescent on the inhale. Arms cactus, exhale. Inhale, rise, straightening through the legs, arms at the ears. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, lunge. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Arms up, crescent lunge. Inhale. Opening up, warrior two. Exhale. On the front toes and we'll pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Heel to the mat, reverse the warrior. And windmill the arms, vinyasa, strong and steady. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, left leg rises, last side. Exhale, step it between the hands. Rise to crescent, inhale. Arms cactus, exhale. Inhale up, exhale lunge, four more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, lunge. Arms up. Inhale, crescent lunge. 
and exhale, opening up, finding warrior two. On the front toes and let's pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Heel to the mat, reverse the warrior, inhale. And vinyasa, exhale. Cobra, up dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Huge inhale through the nose and out the mouth, let it go. Go ahead and crawl the hands back to meet the feet. Forward fold at the back of the mat. Slowing down the breath and just surrendering to gravity. The head is heavy. Go ahead and grab onto the big toes with the first two fingers. We'll inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. And exhale, bend the elbows, folding forward to your own degree. Taking this time to slow down the breath. Just feeling into the vibration of what you just did. Maybe feeling that heart beating proudly within the chest. Next inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hands to the mat. Slowly walk them back out, making your way into a downward facing dog. Just taking a moment here in this downward facing dog before we set up to do one final balancing series. Just one time through on each side and then we're on the floor. You got this. So inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, step it between the hands. Rise to crescent on the inhale. And on the exhale, tilt forward, finding arrow pose. Arms at your sides, palms face down, so there's an open rotation through the shoulders, the chest hovering just above the thigh. Place the weight into your right foot, and on an inhale, left leg into the chest, arms at the ears, coming into stork pose. Balancing strong on the right leg and rooting down through that right foot. Option to stay in stork, or option to kick the foot back, leg and arms back, finding dancer pose. You're broad through the chest, and we'll start to stoke the fire from here. So inhale to stork, exhale dance. Inhale up, exhale dance. Last one, inhale to stork, exhale water dancer. Inhale back to stork, and on the exhale, tilt forward finding warrior three. The left leg kicks back behind you, the foot is flexed. Arms at the ears, creating a capital T-shaped side on. And you're breathing. We never forget about the breath. Inhale. Hold for the exhale. And on an inhale, rise. Back to stork. Exhale, foot to the mat. Arms in prayer in front of the chest. Closing down the eyes. Coming back to the breath and back into the body. Shoulders roll down the back. Gentle press of the thumbs into the heart space. The belly is in. Slight tuck of the pelvis. The legs are engaged. Rooting down through the feet. Take another big inhale through the nose. And out the mouth. Let it go. Flutter the eyes open on an inhale, arm circle. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back and moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, cobra up dog, moving meditation. Exhale, downward facing. And we'll go for the other side. So on an inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it between the hands. Rise to crescent, inhale. Tilt forward, arrow pose, exhale. The shoulders roll down and in, the neck is long creating a straight line from the back of the heel to the crown of the head. Place the weight into that front left leg and on an inhale, rise to stork. Right leg into the chest, arms are at the ears. Option to stay in stork or option to kick back open up the chest, finding dancer pose. And we'll move, inhale to stork, exhale dance. Inhale up, exhale dance. Last one, inhale to stork, exhale dance. Inhale, back to stork, and tilting forward, right leg back parallel to the mat, warrior three. The back foot is flexed with all five toes pointing down to the ground. 
The belly is engaged, reaching forward with the fingertips and kicking back through the right heel. Hands and feet energizing out in opposite directions. We'll take one last inhale here. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, back to stork. Exhale, hands in prayer, back foot down to the mat. Closing down the eyes and just feeling into whatever it is that you're feeling. Slowing down the breath, long, slow inhales and long, slow exhales. Getting that breath under control. Next inhale, arm circle. Exhale, surrendering back down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back and lowering with control, last chaturanga. Inhale, chest lifts, pumping blood into the spine. And exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose and out the mouth. Just let it go. From here, go ahead and drop your knees to the mat. Crawl the knees forward, cross the feet behind you, coming back onto your seat. Turn 90 degrees facing the long side of your mat. Coming into a nice straddle so the feet splay out to either side. On an inhale, sit up nice and tall. And on the exhale, slowly start to crawl the hands forward to your own degree. Calming the mind, opening up the hips, and feeling deep into the hamstrings, the calves, the low back, and even the spine. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. And releasing, go ahead and crawl the hands back into the body. Turn to face the front, both legs extended out in front of you. Inhale, sit up, nice and tall, nice flat back. And on the exhale, slowly fold forward to your own degree. Grabbing onto the shins, the ankles, the feet, just wherever you can here. Seated forward bend. Just enjoying the stretch here down the entire back side of the body. Stretching from the head all the way down to the heels. Soothing the nervous system. Stimulating the internal organs. And even increasing circulation. Yoga is a science and there's so many benefits to every single pose. And releasing, slowly coming back up before reclining all the way down onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest, maybe rocking from side to side, massaging into the lower spine. Extend the left leg out in front of you. Extend the right arm out to the side. And then allow your right knee to fall over towards the left, coming into a nice reclined twist. The gaze can be to the right or up towards the sky, whatever's comfortable. And releasing, hug both knees back into the chest. Extend the right leg out in front of you this time, left arm comes out to the side. And then go ahead and drape that left knee over to the right, using your left shoulder as an anchor here and releasing any tension you might be holding throughout the back. Should feel nice. And releasing, hug both knees back into the chest. And on an inhale, tuck the forehead in to meet the knees, coming into a little ball, giving yourself a little hug. And then exhale, releasing into your final resting pose. Shavasana. The legs extend out in front of you. The arms rest gently, palms face up next to the body. Shoulders roll down and in, and there's a slight tuck of the chin. 
filling yourself up with every inhale and relaxing and melting deeper into the mat beneath you with every exhale. Calming the mind and allowing the body to absorb and integrate all the benefits of today's practice. And we'll go for a quick body scan. Can you relax into the toes, into the feet, the ankles? Can you relax the shins and the knees, the thighs, the hips, and the pelvis? Can you relax the stomach and the chest, the shoulders and the neck? Relaxing into the face, into the lips and the cheeks, relaxing the muscles behind the eyes, relaxing the forehead and out through the crown of the head, allowing the floor to support the entire weight of your body. We'll stay here for the next few moments. Feel free to stay here for as long as you'd like, for as long as would serve you best today. And if you're ready and willing, just slowly bringing some awareness back into the body, bringing some gentle movements, rolling out the ankles, rolling through the wrists, maybe shifting the head from side to side. And we'll go for a big body on. The arms reach out above you as the feet extend out in front of you. Option to curl the knees into the forehead, coming into a little ball as you roll your way up into a comfortable seated position. Closing down the eyes, the hands are in prayer in front of the chest. The love and light in me recognizes that same love and light in you. Together we say, Namaste.